Let's do a Netflix stock crash watch party. Well, it's not crashing yet. It won't fully, like, start tanking till they implement the password sharing protocol in the U.S. Use it to your one psychedelic. That's when it's really probably going to take a huge hit. I just can't imagine anyone bothering to pay for it once they're kicked off. I really can't. Things a tier one scuff. The prime toaster. Did they say they'll launch it in the US? It is coming, yeah. We just don't know what form of it. So the one that they just brought to Canada, Portugal, Spain, and uh, New Zealand, that one's a little different than the one they were testing in Latin American countries, so we still don't know what it's going to look like when they bring that here. Is the resub come Avery, Boner, and Freaky in Mint? I like how they just disrespected Canada like that. Yeah, people are really pissed about that. I mean, rightfully so. Thanks for some smoke. <clears throat> In the prime, you lordo. Yeah, it's not everywhere in Canada. I think it's only one area, if I can remember. Or... Uh, is it one or multiple? I don't remember. I don't think it's all of Canada yet, though. Have you heard about the new Tetris movie? Mm -mm. Can't say I have. Is the prime olive? Don't understand you saying they have bad originals. Stranger Things, Orange New Black, Daredevil, Inside Job. They have no good originals coming out soon, though. So you listed, how many is that, four? You've listed four good originals. Do you know how many originals they have in total? That's four out of, like, fucking 400. They actually just throw everything at the wall, all kinds of shit, and hope a couple of it sticks. It's a quantity, not quality play. They do have bangers, 100%. I like Stranger Things. I like pretty much everything you listed there, though I never got into Daredevil. But, like, they have bangers. But for every banger, there's 15 stinkers. I think it's posterized in the prime blank. Yeah, I was talking about that earlier, Kyloran. 15, it's more than that. I mean, it probably is, man. They have so many of their originals that you don't even know exist because Netflix themselves don't even promote them. So what the fuck is the point in putting money into them? I don't get it. I really don't. Thanks, Arisa Abigail. At least they're making content and not regurgitating much. But their best content is, like, the content that's not there. It's, like, Breaking Bad, shit like that. The things that people are, like, actually using Netflix for, I feel like are things they could just get elsewhere, like Breaking Bad. The originals, while they do have a couple good ones for sure, it's not like it's constant new ones that are good it's hey we just got stranger things the new season was hype and now i get bruise brothers season two it's like what the fuck is there you said wavy in the prime razzle true they also do cancel good shows after like a season they do have a habit of doing that They even lost access to their own Arrested Development series recently. Did they? I didn't even know that. Thanks for resub doodle. And yeah, I have been watching the new Vinland Saga. I like it. Thanks for Prime Benadryl. I don't like it as much as the first season, though. They lose so much money by dropping all episodes of Stranger Things on the same day, but I like it. 
Well, they didn't do that this time around. They did kind of space it out. But yeah, I hate the binge model. I think it's stupid. I think it was cool in the beginning. It was a cool novelty, a fun new way of experiencing content, but I'm so tired of the binge model. True. Well, some of them just finished, though, Jay, to be fair. And yeah, I have Goblin. If I, I plan on tossing it over to him after stream tonight. Thanks, the resub gator. Summits, I, I can, I still can't stand the way summits run for the nomination stuff. It's so stressful for no reason. Resub Gator in the Prime Zach. Aaron's campaigning for Summit. So that's the nomination stage, that's the voting stage, that's fucking everything. It's so f it's such a headache. It's such a headache. Netflix added 891 Netflix originals in 2022. What the fuck? Wait, what? No. So that's just total, like, Netflix exclusive content. That's not gonna be, like, all originals, right? There's no way they put money into all 891. There's no shot. Oh, that's a really good point. I didn't consider that. There are actual, like, exclusives to, like, Asia and other countries and things like that. That's a good point. Oh, maybe... Wow, wait, that could actually be accurate then. Oh, I didn't consider that. Damn, that is even worse than I thought. 891 originals last year, and, like... Shit. The only one I can think of off the top of my head that was good is Stranger Things, the newest season. Holy shit, that's awful. Holy shit, that's so bad. Squid Game was two years ago. Damn, that's wild. Things are some sketchy daddy in the prime mox. Squid Game was two years ago. Yep. It was two years ago. That was a 2021 show, not a 2022 show. Oh, Edge, Edge Runners was last year. Yeah, two. Edge Runners and Stranger Things. Out of 891. Arcane wasn't last year either. Arcane was 2021. I'm pretty sure that was fall of 2021, right? Let me double check. November 6, 2021. Why don't you guys just look these things up before saying them? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Dahmer. I didn't watch Dahmer. But I'll just I'll just say yeah, Dahmer got a lot of hype. Maybe it was good. Let's let's say every single one of them you're naming is good. That's still less than 10 out of 891.